Overtime here at Satterton Area High School on homecoming night. The North Penn Knights defeat the Satterton Big Red by a score of 33-10. to Kyle Berger, Daryl Dobas with you. And Daryl, uh, North Penn just too much for Satterton again. Tyler Smith had a huge night. At 12 carries, 192 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, after a while there, you thought he wasn't going to get his yardage. But once he gets to the outside, if he gets that one block, that's all he needs. Plenty of speed on the outside. Takes it for a couple runs of over 50 yards. Uh, kind of hard to, to hate that out of a running back. He's just been phenomenal over a grand now in the season. Yeah, Coach Dick back of North Penn saying that the offensive line was a concern from the beginning of the season, but they've gotten better each consecutive week. You know, when you're going to double Ronnie like they were, you know, you put a guy on his face and a guy over the top when he split out, you know, they're going to play nine against ten. We have to take advantage, and if we can't run the ball nine against ten, we're going to struggle when the playoffs start. A lot of help for Tyler Smith coming from Andrew Stoll, the fullback, but also stole an integral part of that North Penn defense, Daryl, that really held Souderton's rushing game in check. Stoll is the typical fullback in the fact that you're not going to see his stats in the, in the scoring column. You're not going to see the numbers pile up, but he makes that offense run along. With, he's another offensive lineman. He's just a couple yards deep in the backfield. He's clearing things out for Aikens, Davey, as well as Smith. So when you see 192 yards, when you see five touchdowns on the ground, you've got to also look at Stoll as well. You may not see it in the numbers, but you definitely know he's one of the key factors in getting that done. And on the other side of the football, he knew, that is Stoll knew, that North Penn was going to gear up to play the run defense against Souderton, a team that bases most of their offense on the ground, and he was fired up for tonight's game. Well, um, you know, I think our D-line does a really good job of, like, taking up blockers for the linebackers and stuff, and we're able to see the pulls and stuff. So, I mean, we practice real hard every day on defense. We go through everything, and uh, we study a lot of film. So, I guess we practice real hard, so I guess that's what's really pulling through for us. On the other side of the field, a very emotional week and what's been a very emotional season for the Souderton Big Red. Justin Powell, the tailback for Souderton, lost his brother, his older brother Ronnie, earlier this week. Played with a heavy heart and played with his brother's number 26 tonight. And uh, Daryl, a moment you or I will probably not soon forget his touchdown at the end of the game with a point to the sky. Well, you, you kind of wondered the fumble that came on the toss play for North Penn. Souderton recovered with about three and a half left. You kind of wonder if the fates were working in Powell's favor. They were. He punches it in later. Powell comes off to a standing ovation and even an applause on the North Penn sideline as well. You just knew that it, the game was over. Yeah, you don't want the other team to score, but this is one time you really didn't mind it. Ed Gallagher, the head coach of Souderton, emotional after the game, told us what he told Justin Powell as he came off the field. I just said congratulations. You know, he'd be proud of you. And... I just told him I love him. I just, he's a great kid. Well, the North Penn Knights now improved to 8-0 and with a big victory over Sounderton on homecoming. And, Daryl, I asked a couple players and Coach Beck this question. Didn't really get a straight answer, so I'll ask you, how good is North Penn? Well, North Penn's as good really as they want to be. It's just a matter of keeping their focus. And, and uh, Coach Beck, happy that he's Continental Conference champ, You know, happy they're 8 No, Any coach would be. But you know a coach is not going to be happy saying, oh, yeah, we're perfect, because they never have the perfect game. They're always going to look for something to nitpick. But I'll tell you what, you keep your tail back at 192 yards. You keep your quarterback clean and clean in the stat column as well. You keep your defense, your primary defense, with only three points on the board. They're already one of the best in the state in the top 60, giving up only 11 points a game. You're going to win a lot of ball games. This team, as long as they keep healthy, is going to go a long way. North Penn 8 and 0 on the season. Souderton drops to 4 and 4. For the North Penn Knights, it's a trip to Hatboro Horsham next week in another Continental Conference tilt. You can catch that game on WNPV1440.com. That's it for overtime from Souderton High School. North Penn beating Souderton by a count of 33 to 10. For Daryl Dobas, I'm Kyle Berger, and we'll talk to you next week.